Hello, everybody. Welcome to Control City Freak. This is the YouTube channel where we talk about interstate highways and the places that they are assigned to go to. All right, today we are talking about Interstate 30, I-30. It is by far the shortest of the zero ending numbers, but it's still fairly important in its own right. So I-30 goes from the Dallas Metroplex to Little Rock, Arkansas, and is signed with US-67 for nearly its whole run, which is interesting since 67 is a north-south road in theory. All right, so first we will talk about eastbound I-30. I-30 begins at this intersection with I-20, and interestingly, it is the mainline road here, not I-20. Uh, it's showing exit only, but really, the majority of the lanes are for staying on 30, which makes sense. It goes into the city, I-20 goes around it. And we see it is 30 East Fort Worth here at Spur 580. We're now within the city limits of Fort Worth, so 30 is no longer signed for Fort Worth, but just signed for downtown. And within Fort Worth, not too surprisingly, 30 is signed East Dallas. And 35's control cities, uh, we will discuss those in the next episode, and we will not be praising them. Here we are in Arlington between Fort Worth and Dallas. I was looking for a place where you could see the Cowboys' new stadium, but all of I-30 is below grade here, so you cannot see it anywhere, at least from anywhere I could see on Street View. I do like that this is called the Nolan Ryan Expressway, though. Great picture, great picture. Along 30, you get a great view of Six Flags Over Texas, which is a pretty fun park. I went there a long time ago. And now coming into Dallas, we are now on 30 East Texarkana. And in Dallas is where 30 really shines. Uh, 30 is a really interesting road while driving around Dallas. See some pretty good Dallas skyline views, lots of very complicated interchanges and ramps everywhere. Like this is not actually on our route. This is the route from 30 East to 35 E North. I don't know how people don't just drive off this bridge all the time. That's a spectacular view of downtown Dallas from that overpass there. Soon we will meet 45 and 75 for Houston and McKinney. And for Texarkana, uh, you could argue that 30 should be signed for Little Rock, but I'm actually fine with Texarkana. For one thing, it's an interstate junction. You're meeting I-49. It will soon be a three interstate junction with 69 coming through. It's not that big of a city, but it gives both Texas and Arkansas an excuse to sign an in-state city since it's in both states. Plus, I mean, everybody's heard of Texarkana, so it makes sense. Awesome REM songs. Now we are out in rural Texas, so we see Greenville 8, Texarkana 140. This is within Texarkana. We have East 30, Little Rock. Although I looked back on Street View in 2016 or so and the 30 Shield was there, it seems it has fallen off and not been replaced for a couple of years. I like this sign, intersecting with I-49. 49 is signed for Houston, Shreveport, and Fort Smith. But currently, it actually only goes to one of those three cities. It's signed for Houston because of US-59, so that makes more sense on 30 West than it does on 30 East. But I do like the idea of signing Fort Smith, even though 49 itself doesn't get anywhere near there yet, much more than like I-10's way of signing cities where it ended along its route once it was being built. Better to sign for the control city that it actually is going to go to one day, I think, than to sign for some small town along the way. Arkansas likes having two control cities, a secondary and a primary, both on its overhead signs and it sticks to two cities on its mileage signs as well. Right here, it is Hope. Once we get into the Little Rock metro area, we finally lose the dual control city thing, and we are now signed just for 30 East Little Rock, along with some US highways. And here is where 30 meets 530 and 440 and US 65. I feel like US 65 gets a bum deal here. US 65 should be on this sign right here. Also, US 70 is not a northbound road. US 65 between Conway and Springfield, Missouri, 
I'd say stacks up with uh, any of the great U.S. highways in the, the western U.S. Just spectacular road all the way through. We are now on the bridge over the Arkansas River, and the control city for I-30 now is Junction US-40. And here in North Little Rock, we see the junction coming up. 65 is finally back on the signs. 65 technically does share this pavement with I-30. This one, I don't know about this one. This is the very end of I-30, and we have the split for 40 West and 40 East. But I just think it's hilarious how they don't even have the same shield for 40. Like, why didn't they just use the same shield twice? And the east-west sign is different. Uh, don't know what they're doing there. All right, let's look at westbound I-30. Westbound I-30 comes off of I-40. You see 40 East Memphis and 30 West Little Rock. Uh, looks the same going the other direction, except it would say 40 West Fort Smith. Little Rock is the right choice for Control City here because we're actually not in Little Rock yet. We're in North Little Rock. So this is the new arena in North Little Rock. And you also have a pretty good view of the Little Rock skyline here. Crossing the same bridge on southbound 30, we get a fine view of downtown Little Rock. Here is where 30 splits off from 530 and 440 that we saw before. We are following the Arkansas style of having two control cities. So Hot Springs, Texarkana, Pine Bluff, El Dorado. Here at 49, we have not actually quite made it to Texarkana yet, but you can see there's only three more miles until the state line, so we're very close. So we have 30 West Dallas now, 30 West Dallas, and we have 369. Interesting that 369 exists, uh, but I-69 itself does not yet exist in Texarkana, at least so far as I could see. I jumped ahead to Dallas. Uh, we are on the outskirts of Dallas here, suburban Dallas. Uh, 30 goes over pretty substantial bridge over this reservoir in Dallas, which is, is pretty cool, I thought. We have a junction with 35E for Waco and Denton, and 30 is now signed 30 West Fort Worth. This interchange is an amazing interchange, really spectacular interchange. Here's a bird's eye view of this, so try and figure this one out. Really cool to see, like I said, cool to see on street view, cool to drive in in real life, cool to see from overhead. I first saw it watching the movie Talk Radio, the Eric Rogozian, and there's a lot of really good driving around Dallas footage in that movie, and I really enjoyed that. So yeah, Dallas, very, very cool place to uh, drive around. And leaving Dallas, we are now on 30 West Fort Worth. You get a pretty good view of downtown Fort Worth from I-30, particularly westbound 30. It's pretty nice, pretty good view. I've actually driven surface streets through it, and it's it's pretty impressive there, too. It looks not too exciting compared to the Dallas skyline. The Dallas skyline is fantastic, one of the best in the country. But Fort, Fort Worth still holds it down pretty well. After passing through Fort Worth, we are now on 30 West Weatherford Abilene. Not sure why the Weatherford is on there. Texas is kind of doing the same thing that Arkansas was doing with a dual control city. I don't mind it too much so long as the primary bottom line city is a legitimate control city. And as I said in the I-20 video, I do think Abilene in this part of Texas is a legitimate control city and deserves to be signed here. Here is the end of I-30. It just morphs into I-20. And like in eastbound, it's more or less the main line road. So we see this is 30 and 20 is actually coming in to take over and become 20. All right, time for another segment of Todd's The Way It Should Be. The Way It Should Be on I-30. I think it should be eastbound, Fort Worth, Dallas, Texarkana, and Little Rock. Well, that's the way it is. And westbound... Little Rock, Texarkana, Dallas, Fort Worth, Abilene. Yeah, and that's the way it is. Well, 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 we don't see this too often. I completely agree with the, the Texas and Arkansas state DOTs on their control cities on I-30. So great job with that. Thank you for watching Control City Freak. I appreciate it so much. Please like, subscribe, tell your road geek friends all the things. Thanks so much. My name is Todd and keep on trucking.